Ladies Legacy Golf Outing, Barbara Snyder and Kathy Sykes. Welcome back. Thank you. Well, welcome, welcome to you. To. <laughs> welcome back to Kathy. Kathy's been here a few times, but this is Barbara's first time on the show. Mm -hmm. Great Thank to have you here. Thank you very much, and I'm so glad Kathy opted to come with. <laughs> Well, Kathy, I think, is one of the uh, founders of the uh, tournament, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yes. How many years ago did you start it? Thirteen. Wow. This is, this is our thirteenth year. And really, what a great success it, it's it turned has. out to be. It has. You, you know, we tell everybody, Bart, that Jim Guerrero said, you'll never get women to fill up a golf course. <laughs> you won't sort of block off cascades for the day. He's like, mm. you know, <laughs> so we did. So there, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> not only do you have the Cascades fall, but you, you have two more golf courses you we use. Do, right. We go to Sharp Park, and then the girl golfers, our high school golfers, go out to Lakeland. We've added them to the mix, so it's, it's good. It's been... And out there, it's, it's been really nice because I believe this year we should have eight different schools. Mm -hmm. So we have four girls from each of those schools that are going to be able to have a light breakfast, have a cart, compete within themselves, and then come to lunch. And it's something that we gain scholarship money mm -hmm. for because we have a lot of sponsors that are sponsoring those girls at that golf. And that's what's neat because the, the girl, high school athletes, are the potential beneficiaries of mm -hmm. all your fundraising. They absolutely are. Mm -hmm. Do you know how much money you've raised over, over the years? Well, we have since 2008, um, I'll do a couple things. Since 2008, we've had 39 this past year that were actually able to receive scholarship. And then the total figure that we have is $305,000 wow. that we, as for 10 Just years, that the Ladies Legacy Golf Outing has raised. And it all stays local mm -hmm. for three um, colleges, Spring Arbor, Baker, or JC, and it depends on the students applying for it and we try really hard don't they the foundation to make sure everyone who applies receives the scholarship and this is a, one of those tournaments that's pretty easy to win you don't have to be good at <laughs> golf <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so how does it work tell us about well, the day the women get intimidated you know for keeping score and all that so we knew we wouldn't be able to get enough women to play the showed Jim Guerrero that we could. So we developed a system and we had a strong arm Kathy Swihart into letting us do it because you know who's going to win, right? Right. <laughs> Not Kathy Sykes. So anyway, it's just an outward scramble. It's a scramble and, and everybody doesn't know, but the night before, they now they'll know, we pick the winner. It doesn't matter what those go. We don't care. It's, it's random. So the night, it's it's random, a random draw. So we just take mm -hmm. the teams that are going to be at the courses and we do it randomly. So it, it just takes away that women just aren't into that competition part so well you like prizes though women like prizes we love prizes yes. exactly and so. that's where a, a big portion of mm -hmm. the money for scholarships does that's come from right. is we have two really good members mm -hmm. that organized mm -hmm. so far for this year Beth and Beth Elliott and Carol Booby are there yeah Carol and mm -hmm. they um, we have raffles at the Manor House. So after the golf, mm -hmm. go ahead, Kathy, I'm sorry. Well, sure, we have this party, but also every lady that plays Bart gets a $5 coupon to go to West Point and get $5 off your hamburgs. And then Slice of Spice has been a big sponsor, too, so they give us 25% off of pizzas. So every lady that plays gets these certificates to get some of their money back. And, and to be honest, I think we helped Slice of Spice get started because they were just starting. Yeah. And don't we all love Slice of Spice? We love mm -hmm. Slice of Spice. I agree, totally. Yeah. So I think it's, so if you have a coupon to go there, you're apt to go there. So they've been real willing every year to keep going with this. So Yeah, and I'm glad you mentioned Slice of Spice because just for, I'll, I'll just detour for just a second because okay. uh, M60 is closed one way oh. right in front of Slice of Spice. But you can get there. In fact, if you're heading towards Spring Arbor from Jackson, Go past the detour sign and stay on M60 mm -hmm. because the road is open right in front of Slice of Spice. But take and make the extra effort for any of the businesses that are affected right. by construction to patronize them because s some people think M dot um, subsidized, they don't. Mm -hmm. There's no, nobody mm -hmm. gets any help. Good, so, all right, so how do you sign up? And people should sign up in advance because it, it could we, sell out. Sure, and we already have 18 as of maybe a week ago. 
We already have 18 teams that have okay. signed up, and it's a real easy process. If you, what we've done in advance is, everyone that was there last year, they their team captain got um, a formal letter sent to them or through email. So if you don't have the form that for the scholarship, they can contact the Jackson Community Foundation very easily and Kelly or Lisa there will be able to help them out. Kathy Sykes, myself, any of us can be contacted, but those would be the two mm -hmm. prominent ones to be able to, to register. Kathy's selling herself short. She's a great golfer. Oh. Yes. Yeah. And she's also sh selling herself short when it comes to this whole production of it. She um, initiated with a few <laughs> good friends, mm -hmm. myself not included in that part, but she, if you'll share your story about Hillsdale, I think that's I how think you we've done this before, but maybe not, that I went to a charity, women's charity golf outing in Hillsdale. I think it was 2006, I'm mm -hmm. not sure. And anyway, they, they picked a different cause every year for their money to go to. So the one I went to, it was for like their St. Luke's Clinic in Hillsdale. It wasn't called St. Luke's, but mm -hmm. similar. But anyway, so we thought we would try. I thought, well, that's cool. You know, we could try to do something like that. So the legacy was just in coming to being. It wasn't even given out yet, but we heard it was coming. So I thought it was cool. Let's try that. So we did. So we had at the luncheon, all right, we'll do this year. Where do we want it to go next year? And everybody said, we want it to go back for scholarships. So we obviously changed the name to the Ladies Legacy Golf Outing. And every year now it's, it's for this cause. And it, it is easy to get uh, donations, Bart. Everybody wants kids to do well. Can they people do. Um, buy, do you have a, set, uh, a raffle where people that aren't in the tournament can buy tickets? Mm -hmm. Yes, the tickets, oh, yes. The, yeah. Yeah, the raffle tickets. Raffle tickets. We yes. have two different ones this year, and we usually do. Um, the, one of them is a great local package of restaurants. Restaurants, so it's $10, and you, I think we said it valued around $320. So for $10, and we only made 200 of those. So your chances are, are better. And then the other ticket is for treetops. Mm -hmm. uh, couple nights and a round of golf. Great. I know. So golfers so, like that. How do people sign up? For the legacy, for, for the outing or buy a ticket? For everything. For everything. Okay. Well, you'll have it on your site right here. here. Yes. Correct. Mm -hmm. So that'll tell Take them. Take a look at this. Uh, Sharp Park or Cascades Golf Course mm -hmm. will have a flyer if they need one. And if they want raffle tickets, if you want raffle tickets, I believe um, Beth may be still out at some of the golf courses. We used mm -hmm. to do that more frequently, but now we found out that the day of golf, the ladies really like to um, contribute more than just their, they obviously are already contributing by being part of the golf outing, but we have several raffles at Cascades Manor House. So after the golf, you were asking earlier, we go to the Manor House for a fantastic, Luncheon. And everyone comes there. Yes. Everyone from comes all back courses. from um, the girls. Not we the girls. do not the girls. They would so be the bored. two. Yeah. <laughs> so they, everyone comes back, and there are several mm -hmm. really nice mm -hmm. gift mm -hmm. baskets and so forth that mm -hmm. are being raffled also. And then after the lunch, we do. So we have all those tickets available mm -hmm. there. And after the lunch, we do a um, silent auction. Right. But I think the highlight of the luncheon part is we have people who've actually gotten a scholarship come. So some of the kids in their beginning telling us about that now they don't have debt or, you know, they brought tears just when I thought I was too tired to do it another year. Some <laughs> kid would get up there and tell this story yeah. that was just so heartwarming. We're like, okay, we'll do it again. Mm -hmm. Because it, that's what it's for. It's for these kids. So that's been, that's a highlight of my day to listen to them. Yeah, because Kathy, Kathy told me she's not doing this anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll be the day, right, yeah. Kathy? Yeah. I didn't believe her, and she was wrong. Exactly. You're back. So if our phone <laughs> number's in, if anybody really wants a ticket or something, or they still would like their company to be, you know, we have tons of companies that sponsor. We can use tons more. Every dime we make goes to the Jackson Community Foundation. We don't, we don't, in fact, if you said I'll give you a cup or ten dollars we'll take the ten dollars thank you very much <laughs> really and truly we want just cash to, yeah. that's what gets those scholarships absolutely more and more so 
And uh, the community, Jackson community has really stepped up, mm -hmm. I think. And it is, um, there's a lot of sweat equity into it for us and the members. And now mm -hmm. I think we're down to nine members is all that's doing this. It's a grassroots, obviously, Kathy has been an educator. I've been an educator for 40 years. I mean, it's, it's something that our heart and soul mm -hmm. is into it because we know it's for a great cause. And as we mentioned earlier, it stays right here. And, and the, one of the things that the Jackson Community Foundation is on the premise that it, it's going to bring the kids wanting to stay here and maybe bring back an educated workforce. Mm -hmm. exactly. and, and it's a real positive um, mm -hmm. situation. It's a win-win on everyone's part. One of the things that JC is doing is they're giving for a live auction they're giving two $500 vouchers. So the day of the golf, you can raise the wager on this. And I know mm -hmm. you had an outstanding mm -hmm. story about. You got time for a good story? Do we have a moment? Or not? A quick one. Oh, you know, I can't be quick. All right, real quick. <laughs> so we had this boy that worked at the golf course with me that was delightful, paying his own way for everything he had in life. And so I said, you know, I'm going to this, and I'm, they've got $500 voucher, dollar voucher. If I can get it for 350, you want me to get it for 350? Yeah, then I'll pay you the 350. So, you know, I bid, bid up to. I think I got it for 350. And then somebody said, why is Kathy Sykes bidding on a JC voucher? One of her grandkids are trying. To, and they said, no, there's a kid at the golf course. She's trying to help. So somebody heard the story bought the other voucher, gave it to me to give the kids. So oh, he got a thousand dollars. Isn't that awesome? For three hundred and fifty dollars he got a, which he paid me. He got a thousand dollars worth of tuition at JCC. So that was an awesome thing. Well that's a great story. We'll all we'll always make time for stories like that, Kathy. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, she has thanks. tons of them. Yeah, thanks for all that you guys are doing. You're welcome. Uh, everyone else on the committee and mm -hmm. all the ladies who participate, everybody who donates. Have a beautiful day. I hope the sun shines on. That would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank but you. But I know Bart. they do. They do it. They all have a luncheon or anything. It happens, rain or shine. Mm -hmm. Thank That's you. True. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thanks. It's a pleasure being here. Uh, it's a pleasure having you from the uh, Ladies Legacy Golf Fundraiser, uh, Barbara Snyder, the chair, along with uh, one of the founders, Kathy Sykes. Well, next on JTV, it's game time.